The Jeep Compass doesn't offer the best of anything. However, it comes standard with the absolute greatest things conservative SUV purchasers search for. First of all, every Compass has a 200 HP turbocharged 4-chamber, an 8-speed program transmission, and all-wheel drive. Its beginning cost is simpler on the wallet than a portion of its predominant rivals. However, they don't offer all-wheel drive as standard gear. The Compass setup goes from a humble game trim to the rough terrain accommodating Trailhawk that accompanies lower equipping and a superior going sweep to take special care of light going mud romping. While other reduced hybrids like the Honda CRV and Mazda CX-5 are more compelling apparatuses for execution, space and driving, the Compass is a reasonable option to the very best. Jeep doesn't change much for the Compass in 2024, yet this little SUV gets new appearance and hardware bundles in the not-so-distant future. Jeep hasn't itemized what those will resemble. However, we'll refresh this space when that data opens up. The front grille embed has been refreshed, and new 19-inch wheel plans will be offered later in the model's life cycle. The Rough Trailhawk gets another off-road tire, too. While we've recently proposed staying with the most reasonable Compass game because of its standard highlights, which incorporates all-wheel drive and a 10.1-inch infotainment touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. We think the lengthy elements presented on Scopelux trim makes the Compass more bearable. The Scopelux gets bigger 18-inch wheels. However, more significantly, it gets a warmed controlling wheel. Warmed calf skin, managed front seats, remote beginning, and downpour detecting windshield wipers. Sadly, the main standard paint variety this trim offers is white. The five paid decisions aren't exactly fascinating either. Every compass is controlled by another 200 HP 2.0 liter turbocharged inline four that additionally makes 221 pound feet of force. It's rushed to an eight-speed transmission, and all-wheel drive is currently standard on all Compass models. Trailhawk models add a low crawler gear proportion and a stone mode, which keeps the Compass in first stuff and coordinates force just to the wheels that can track down hold. An outing to our test track demonstrated that the Super 4 offers the perfect proportion of force for the Compass's minimized edge, hustling the SUV to 60 mph in 7.5 seconds. The Compass feels more deft than its tall, square-shaped profile would recommend, answering capably to inputs, and the directing is well-weighted, however needs street feel. There is some incline during tight cornering, however generally, the Compass feels good controlled, firmly planted, and competent out and about. A rough terrain course we conquered when we previously drove the Compass uncovered that it can stand its ground over moderate impediments, and we saw nary a stagger from the all-wheel drive system. The EPA rates the Compass at 24 MPG City and 32 MPG Interstate. And that implies its new 2.0 liter Super 4 is both more remarkable and more productive than the normally suctioned 2.4 liter unit it supplanted. Whenever we get an opportunity, we'll take the Compass on our 75 Memory Haas Expressway efficiency test course and update this story with results. For more data about the Compass's efficiency, visit the EPA's website. The Compass's inside is agreeable and practical and has adequate room for four grown-up travelers. The secondary lounge is neither the biggest nor the littlest of the hybrids in this different class. Its high seat bottoms in the secondary lounge imply that travelers' legs are completely upheld and, surprisingly, long rides can be agreeable.